another day on the plane build. I've got everything set up here. Um, I messed up, but not in a bad way. I forgot to drill the last hole. So this is the front long spacer. Imagine this is on the other side. Uh, I mean, theoretically it would go like this, but I'm flipping it over because it goes underneath. So all those holes line up. Womp womp, forgot to do that. So I'm going to uh, put some rivets in just to hold it in place, some longer ones. And then I'm going to drill those holes. I just have to take care of three of them per spar. So spacer one, spacer two, and spacer three. The rest fit between the spar cap strips, which are these two pieces. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, and then we'll see if I get around to riveting. And like the previous video, please, please subscribe. I need the subscriber count, so. Like it too if you want. Hawaiian shirt, working on the plane. Move that out of the way. Move this out of the way. It's on wood. Move that in there. And I need another one. Whoops. Okay. We've got it clamped, set up. Not that you can see it. So that's what that looks like. I'm gonna center punch this hole and then we're just gonna go for it. Because I've got paint in the holes, I've got to open them up a little bit. We good again. Look at that. Let's try doing one rivet. How about that? Just one. Well, turns out I won't be riveting with this tool because it doesn't quite fit. Looks like I'm going to have to use my rivet gun. Problem is, my air hose blew up on me. I need to go to Harbor Freight. Let's fast forward to Harbor Freight, new air hose, and then we'll take care of the riveting. <sighs> Spider webs. Forgot to do one key thing, actually. I forgot to round these pieces. So these pieces, I think you don't want a, a shear point. Not a, it's not really a shear point, but you don't want like the pressure to just end. Um, so seeing like the little 45s cut, we also seen them rounded. Um, most likely for me, I'm gonna do the 45s and then just like file them down a little bit. I'll get to work on that. Luckily, it's pretty easy. I think what we're going to do is use the Dremel. So that'll probably be the easiest way to do this. So today, I'm using my new uh, ear protection called Eargasms. Link in the description below. I get a little commission from it. They're for motorcycling and uh, like musician stuff, but it's also really good on the motorcycle. So I'm going to give them a shot. It's not going to be as quiet as uh, my over ears, but these are definitely more comfortable, that's for sure. And now if I could only find my safety glasses. Thank you. 
now that pieces are cut to length, I'm gonna use some blue masking tape, put in some rivets in strategic locations uh, so that they'll be ready for squeezing and that way I can keep everything aligned. So, turns out, I really needed MS-2470 AD-11s, and that's the one that was out when I made my rivet order. So, I'm taking MS-2470 85-13s and using my rivet slicer to come down to a dash 11, which is the perfect size according to my little gauge there. If there are some available, I might buy some more, but this is working really nicely right now. Perfect. And I do want to clarify, that's only applicable to sections where it's just one bar and then two bars on the other side. The others are, should be good to go. And that's really only the spots up to this point right here where it's three. And then maybe a couple down there, can't remember. All right. Time to start riveting. So I did a practice one. Came out pretty nice. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna try the other side. Boom. Look at that. That's awesome. That is in. All right, let's do the center splice. First two installed, look at that. I'm proud of myself. That was a little bit nerve wracking, but we're getting there. doing this on the ground because I want to make sure that the surface is solid while I'm back riveting. I don't want bouncing around or anything. But I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. That just means like in two seconds you're gonna see me finish this, but look at that. Beautiful black brackets. I did all the, the end pieces that are close to the end, at least, of each uh, cap strip. It's looking pretty good. Also, I can do this the whole thing up. Look at that. That's incredible. Woo! Look at all that. Back to the time lapse. I didn't 
record all of it because it would have been too much, you know, of stuff. But yeah, the rivets are done. I definitely need to drill out a couple and redo some. Um, mainly these. That's not good. That's not good. And that's not good. A little smiley face. I think there's a couple more down here. Like that one and that one. Um, and this one, whew, that was rough. But uh, six total that need to be redone. Uh, I'm happy with the turnout because this is the first time I've riveted anything. Well, besides the ribs right there. That's it for this video. Um, I'll film a little bit of me drilling out the problem children and uh, redoing those. And we'll see you on the next one. Sweet.